Then I think it's my mother's house. Give me, give me some recommendations. Okay, so we have A, B, and C, right? So just to list them, hold on. So I got A is three. Is three, and C is zero. This is the first size. So here we go. Yeah. So it's going to be what? Three over two minus x, right? We're going to integrate it from my one to minus one. Now, if I had you guys here in my other calculus class, I'd just say one to zero, and I put a two there because it's double. Um, Never mind. Okay. What? Yeah. If it's if these if the limits equal each other, you just set one to zero, the lower bound to zero, and multiply it by two. That's just a trick in calculus, but never mind. Okay, because it's it's symmetric. Never mind. Oh. Okay, it's just symmetric. All right, plus, and I don't like this color anymore. So let's see here. So you guys can see. I like markers that can really run. Let's just make. It. So the next thing would be integral here. Remember, you can do this and then some parentheses, but we're just breaking it up. And then this is going to be three x over. 2 plus x. Fly me to the moon. Is that the one? Yeah. Or, everybody knows that one. It's my mother's house now. No one gets along, but she plays Frank Sinatra music. So, okay? All right. So far, so good? Yeah. Yes. Sophia, okay? Just like, yeah. All right. Now, remember, there's a dx here, my fault, and a dx. Oh, except you have a dx with this stuff, right? Just shove it in there, so to speak. Well, the dx comes out of the wash anyway. Because you can, now you might do it differently. Yes. Is that? You, okay, go ahead. Is this still I, or is it This I, is, I, this I, is I, like, uh, this is double I. Oh, it is? Yeah. So what was the end to regular I? Was just I, I think it's this one here. This is I. Yeah, and then yeah. fill in the variables. So what he has in the integral, double three I. over two minus oh, okay. x so plus three x over two plus x squared. Yeah. yeah. Now, you should put a dx here, but a dx is going to come out anyway when you do your okay. substitution. Okay. doesn't matter. Two minus x, right? So far, so good. And then this one over here is u is equal to 2 plus x squared. So what's du right here, derivative of the bottom? Negative 1, one dx, right? Because the derivative just comes out there. Yes, sir? So I think, so you take that 3 and you pull it out. Yeah, we're going to do it in a second. And yeah. you do the same thing with that 3 as well, right? Yeah. Because it's a constant, right? Anytime you see a constant, you always can pull them out. All right? So... I'll do this in a second. So then this one's u, then du is equal to just 2x dx. You got a 3x, right? So it's just going to be 3, uh, I think it's 3 halves, right? Or is it th yeah, 3 halves. Because we pull out a 3, but we stick a 2, so we pull out a 2. That's correct. Yeah. Wait, what do we do? All right, so, so this 3 comes out in the front, right? Yes. Now it's minus, right? So I could put the minus right there if I wanted to, couldn't I? Minus. Now, what is the... I didn't do the, I'll do it here, okay? So it's going to be what? You you integrate this, uh, minus 3. You you integrate this, it's going to be the natural log of 2 minus x, right? I do that right? Why is it a negative 3? Because there's that minus that's right here from the derivative portion. Because we have to pull out that negative. Yeah, see that minus right there? Well, you have to put it somewhere in here to replace it, right? Now, I didn't do this, so I'll do this with watch. So... So this is going to be 1 over u du, and then there's a minus right there. And then you just like start filling it, resubstituting. Well, what's du equal? That's that minus. So I just should put u du here, but I just stuck the negative there. Mm -hmm. And then there's a 3 right there anyway for the constant. Okay, exactly. So it's, so it's just going to be minus 3 natural log of 2 minus x. Okay? Not bad? That's this portion of the program. This is number 2 on uh, Mrs. K's. Yeah. Okay. What's up? Oh, yeah, I did this. A 3 for B. Uh, a 3 for B. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. You didn't get a 3? No, I got a negative 1. All right, I'll have to take a look at it. I'll get to that. Uh, I, I, I'll... Yeah, let me finish this first, okay? okay? So then in this guy right here, you know there's going to be a 3 there, right? So this is going to be plus. Plus sign's right there, right? Plus. And then this 3 comes out, and then there's a 2. So it comes 3 halves. Then the natural log of 1 over u du. So that's going to still be the natural log of 2 plus x squared. And that's all to, to 1 
minus one. Okay? Any question there? Okay. So the ln is because it's... Oh, wait a minute. That's squared, right? Wait a minute. Yeah, the natural log is because of this one. This is wrong. I got it. I did too bad. This one's incorrect. I'll tell you why. So I did this right. No, I did it right. Yeah, I did it right. I did it right. Three halves, Ellen. Yeah, I did it right. Because it's in the denominator. Yeah. Now, if that was, if it was like this, then it'd be minus one or whatever, okay? But it's not. Sometimes they do that to you, right? So now you evaluate this from one to minus one. <coughs> okay? So that means you stick a one in there and subtract the negative one value, okay? And that will come out to be a whole bunch of stuff, right? I could, I could do the whole thing if you want. Yes, no, or you're right. I, that means just start. Go ahead. Okay. So when I evaluate this thing, pretend there's an equals. You're going down on your piece of paper. Okay. So that means this is going to be negative three, right? And I'm going to put a one in there because remember the fundamental theorem of calculus of, a, of little f x dx from b to a is f of b minus f of a plus a constant of integration, but we oh, no, no constant because of the, you have the values here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's the fundamental theorem of calculus. No crying this one, exactly. No crying. Okay, so this is minus 3 times the natural log mm -hmm. of 2 minus 1, which is 1. Okay? Not bad, Katie? Sophie? Yeah, do Sophia? Yeah. Okay, me too. Then you're going to say, okay, all I have to do is plug in the plus there, right? And that's going to be what? Uh, natural log of uh, 3 halves, right? 3 halves. Natural yeah, log of, yeah, plus three halves, I'm right. Natural log of, um, what is it, um, two plus one squared close parentheses. So that's my first upper limit guy, right? Yeah. Now, it's up to you how you want to do this. Now, it's big minus here, right? And if you do it here, then it's the same thing repeated. Or you can just distribute that minus sign all the way through. Doesn't matter. Most likely she did this way for you. Again, it's minus three, natural log. Now it's a minus one. Min two minus a negative one inside there, right? So that's a three. Okay. Then plus three halves the natural log of uh, two, uh, two min uh, plus a negative one quantity squared, so it's two plus one. So that's a three here too, okay? Because it's going to be 2 plus 1 squared. All right, so far? Yeah. Sure. So then here, this one is okay. Natural log of 1 is 0. 0 times negative 3. Who say? Not bad. Now this guy right here, this is 3, three here. So this is plus 3 halves the natural log of 3. Okay, so far? Yeah. Now, negative times distribute, distribute, right? Mm -hmm. Plus, so that's going to be okay. 3 ln of 3. We're seeing a commonality here with the bases, right? Yeah. Or, okay. Minus 3 halves natural log of 3. Well, I see something that's going to get canceled out immediately, right? Yes. Bing, bong, bing, bong, right? So then it's the natural log. 3 natural log of 3, right? Yep. And that's all they want. And that's just the natural log of 27, if you really want to think about it, right? Yeah. How did I know? Okay. Bring the thing to this Bring place. Bring the thing to the okay. other side. Okay, not bad? Yeah. yeah. It's just like a little puzzle to me. Go ahead. Yes, sir. So could you do number 8 of the... Oh, I have to finish with uh, uh, ABC, right? So we're going to do B, right? So is that the final answer? That's the final answer. Well, everything was the final answer, right? Yes, you have things. Yeah. And if you need it, I have it right here. You want to take a picture, Michael, or you just want me to go through it? I don't know. We're doing something like math. I don't know. He wanted. He asked a question. Oh, great song. Um, Michael, you want me to do the three? How'd you get three? Yeah. Okay. So you're okay with A, right? And you're okay with C? No. No. Okay. So he's not okay with C. So we got A for three, right? So for a to equal three, that means you said let x equal two, right? 
Yes. Okay. So the next portion here is you arbitrarily pick something. I pick zero. That's yeah, everybody that does. Important. And that's great. So now you stick in, okay, I gotta have to write this here, right? I gotta go six plus six x equals a <laughs> times this denominator plus bx plus c times this denominator. And then that got to your some seconds. So when this is zero, Michael, yeah. this is six times six plus this is gonna be just six, right? This is zero here, so that's just a six, okay, Michael? And then right here, that's zero. That's two a. And remember, a is three, right? So this is going to be three times two a, which is six. Is that okay? Yeah. Plus. Now remember, it's zero here, right, Michael? He's like, yeah, that goes away. And it's zero right there. Oh. Sometimes Mrs. K does this. I do the same thing. So now you got c, uh, two c, right? Two c or not to c, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> and so 2c equals 0, and then c equals 0. Game over. Now you got c. Um, All right? Should we just do Yes, I know, but he, he didn't have uh, he didn't have this uh, the, the uh, tops, the numerators. Yeah. Now, in old-fashioned way that they did it, this would be a sub naught. This would be a sub 1 and a sub 2. Why would they do that? Because they always stuck with just an arbitrary letter. And still with the same letter, which signifies that it is a constant. You write ABC. ABC. You can write X Y Z. You can write orange. You can write uh, happy face, the emoji that's kicked off in a poop sign. Doesn't matter, right? You see what I mean? It's just a symbol, right? <laughs> but you guys are so used to ABC, right? Mm -hmm. but, but even before they did the knots, they used Greek letters. This would be an alpha, beta, and a gamma. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. We like ABCs. I do. All right. I know that. Oh, so number eight, we've got... Number um, eight, the man asks. Okay. It's another partial fraction. Oh, man, you're just killing me with PDFs. Partial PFDs. Or should we get another variety? Because I've got another one of them. You're killing me with PDFs. I thought you guys asked me for integrations and, and differentiation. You guys are okay with those? Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Eight, you said? Yeah. And then also... That's a problem. That's a problem. Here's the real problem. Which one? Number eight. I like that one. Yeah. I think it's we difficult. Do that. Yeah. All right. Fine. Okay. Fine. Okay. I got to look. I think it's pretty much the same thing, right? Same thing, but all right. All right. Still, it's different <laughs> numbers. Let's <laughs> <laughs> see. I worked them out somewhere here. Okay. I actually. Oh, I did this one. Yeah. Let's see. I gotta find where it is. You know the best one is the soundtrack. I worked them all out. Yeah. Yeah. I worked them all out. Yes. Uh, is that the 7x guy or no? Like no, no, that's 11x plus something, right? Yes. 11x plus 7 over... Yeah, I, I, 2x I minus 1 times x plus 1 quantity squared. Okay, that's number 7. Okay, I can find it. Ah! Okay. <laughs> and if you want to see one, you just... Hey, okay, can I get a selfie, right? That's fine. I don't mind that. All right, so back to work. All right, yeah, yeah. I thought I was just going to sit around and we talk about, you know, all the cool things I've done in my life. No, never mind. Yeah, that's it. I'm over music. Okay. I'm gone. No, tomorrow I'm under the knife. So the lady asked, or the gentleman asked, for this 11x plus 7, x minus 1. Okay, x plus 2 quantity squared, right? Yep. So the first thing is just split it. Talk to me. A over what? Your choice? 2x plus 1. Minus 1. Plus b? Over x plus 2. Yeah, and c? Over x plus 2 squared. Yeah. Um, yeah. So there's not bx plus c, c thing, right? Because of that right there. Okay, first degree, second degree, right? Okay. Okay, so then you multiply by the evil denominator. So I like if people just do least common denominator of... 2x minus 1 and x plus 2. And then you multiply it all the way through, right? Three minutes. So. Let's go fast. Well, I can give it to you if you want, right? You still want me to keep going? And then take a picture? Just take a picture. And keep. Alright, you don't have to keep going. I just need to. I just need to. I just need to. So, you multiply by that thing, right? So you're going to get 11x plus 7. You'll tell me the number, right? And then 8 times these two demonators, right? We're going to play this. 
plus B times the remaining denominator. You tell me if I know this right. Uh, B, and then so it's just one of those factors, right? Plus C times just that guy, right? Is that right? No. No. A just uh, X plus two squared. Because yeah, because it, it was orbit. It was orbit. Uh, there we go. Yeah, he's right. Okay, so far so good. So, Sophia, not bad. Okay. Now you choose what? Probably minus two. X equals minus two. That kills this one off. So that's eleven times a minus two plus a seven equals. That's gone. That's gone. I think I just get C, right? So that's C, and then two minus a two times a minus two plus a minus a one. Am I doing that right? You'll tell me. You got the sheet. You'll tell me. Because I chose x equals negative two by by the low. Yeah. Right. Are you going to leave that here? No, uh, no, because well, I want you to work yeah, on these. No, I mean, well, here, I mean, well, like, yeah. Well, 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 you mean leave those alone? You should know these. Oh, you should know these. Yeah, but if, what if we can't get the answer? You should be getting the answer. Well, They're everywhere. I'll pick it up. I'll pick it up the problem. So this one is a minus 22, whatever it is. Oh, here it is. So this is minus 22 plus a 7 equals negative 3 C. C equals uh, 3, right? Okay, that's 1. Then I said let x equal 1 half. So that means 11 times 1 half uh, plus 7 equals A times 1 half plus 2 squared. Okay.